Like when you see the pictures and you see all oh, your leg, I mean half of your leg is gone on the side and I'm like, they had to have drug you, like mm -hmm. you stuck under the car, they drug you, something for all of that to be gone like that. Yeah, they, they hit, they hit, they knocked out of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. My mama called Mr. Twilight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they found it and did. They on the bump or whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. But you know, it's a win-win for me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe. The reason you see. Okay, so going back to that day when um you got hit, you said the police found um the bumper for the detective found a bumper one person hit you but you said two people hit you mm -hmm. so it was only the first person that hit you at first that's the person that the bumper they found no the first person like the first person did the first person was going down slow okay. they saw me you know okay. what i'm saying they were trying to try to try to miss trying to slow down yeah yeah, yeah 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 so so they didn't you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know they did they hit me to knock me, you know. Make me go to the middle of the street. But the second car is what did all the damage. All the damage because they ran over you. Right. And then and they slowed down and then it kept on going. Because that's the part because when you posted the pictures, that's what I, I'd, I'd ask baby Sam because I'm like, when you see the pictures and you see all your leg, I mean, half of your leg is gone on the side. And I'm like, they had to have drug you, like mm -hmm. you stuck under the car. They drug you something for all of that to be gone like that. Yeah, they they hit they hit they knocked the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. My mama called Mr. Twilight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they found it and did. They on the bump or whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. But you know, it's a win-win for me. I live, I survive. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, it's only up from here. I can't go. I can't go back. I can't go down. So how so, are you using that to um, move forward? How are you using that? Because sometimes you know, people, some people tend to want to say, you know, I want to forget about what I've been through. Hell no. Hell no. How are you using that to move forward? There's a man named. Uh, uh, what was his name? Les Lee Brown. Anyway, Les Brown. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. I know you're talking. I, I, they just kind of retarded or whatever. You know what I'm saying? When he was a kid, but I didn't listen to him so much. Me going through this, for example, if I was to walk into an auditorium, you know, with some kids, nah. I know how to make them pay attention. They gonna listen to me because the ones that you know where I'm from and they from, we can you know connect on that environment, right? But some of those, they not gonna be able to understand the, if I try to tell them about certain drug use or things not to do, right? Because some of them may have not done it or whatever. Right. whatever. Man, when I take that guy, when I take that leg off. And, and just show them. That's gonna make them. You know what I'm saying? I pull it. I pull it. I, I show them all this, all this shit. You feel me? I got this. I got two in the bed. You feel what I'm saying? They gotta take off. I've been through some shit, shit. You feel me? And if I name, once I go to name and all the people that ain't with me no more. You feel me? My future is. Three, four more years, five at the most, transitioning from music, mm -hmm. comedy, films, but being that motivational speaker. I, I, I just knew that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't no. want to be a pastor. Just a motivational speaker. Motivational speaker because you're going to help a lot of people. Yeah. I knew that because when I read and it's that. it's going to help me. Yeah, because when I read that to you earlier, that's all I could see. That, that, it, that was all what you read. Right, because it's how many people you're going to save because of what you've been through because I remember even um, we interviewed another young lady the other day and her name is Goddess Johnson right okay. um, she's blind she's blind she's blind okay. but um, she went through so many different trauma foster care all of that but um, her trauma came from okay her younger sister she was in the car with her younger sister they were driving and her niece and niece was like seven months old they had a wreck 
she lost both her sister and her niece. They died. She lived, but the doctor said she wouldn't be able to see. She ended up having to go through surgeries to be able to even get. Right now, she can see like you're looking through a telescope only on one eye, and you can see like a tunnel vision. Right. That's all she can see. That's all she can see. And she, she won Miss um, Beauty Pageant for the blind because she's trying to show. Because she had to go through all sorts of stuff first before she got to that point. But she know all these young girls are looking up to her. She's like, she didn't realize how many young blind children out here who have self-confident issues. I'm have sure they do. All sorts but of But she'll problems. be able to see again. She's like, she will. has a whole different type of vision right now. Because of the fact when I was taken away from my mom, my mom wasn't even allowed to have contact with me from seven until I was 28 years old. And I'm just was more of a transparent type dude. She'll be able to see again though. Really? Yeah, cause like, like it can, come, you know. Cause what she saying? sees now, but if it's you just see a, if you can see a little bit, it's, it's so many. I'm blind, ma. I'm blind, on ma. <laughs> for real, I might as well be. You know what I'm saying? I got on contacts right now. Your glasses ain't even that thick. Uh, no, these are reading glasses. Hmm. No, I'm blind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, when I was a kid, I used to go to the. Uh, I, I, I we don't medicate. Mm -hmm. We go to the we go to the eye doctor. E. I couldn't. Every pair of glasses that I picked, medicated didn't, didn't cover. Hmm. Man, I got my heart broke. I got my heart broke from mm. the third grade to the seventh grade. Seventh grade, I look. I said, man, boy, them like some shit run them so well. I said, man, can I get them? And he finally gave me some glasses <laughs> that I don't medicate. Yeah, man, I'm, yeah, my shit's blind. You know what I'm saying? Not that, man. I'm talking about really. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I have to have my glasses uh, 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 contacts in. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, that's that's big for her. That's big yeah, for her. Yeah, because that's all she does now is go around and do oh. motivational stuff. Speaking, and she helps a lot of people and she travels everywhere and do it and she's she's been a blessing to so many people when I follow her on her social media the amount of people that give her love that's real it's and you know what amazing in our community you you got to get them some shit that's gonna hit them in the heart you feel me? Mm -hmm. Because they're going to overlook you. Yeah. You feel me? And the world yeah. going through a lot right now. Man, look how many people, look how many people like, 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 uh, maybe on the, on, they may be on the corner, trying, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. trying to give you the word. Uh, man, that nigga, that nigga in that car just trying to go to work, or get home, get out, and so you don't even stop to, uh, mm -hmm. to absorb that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you have to give the people what they want. You and know you're the type of person that like to give it real. And I love that fact because people would listen to you because of the way how you talk much less you like to joke around and stuff like that so you're gonna make them laugh with it too because right. some people want to cry but with you doing all that you, yeah you can't you, you try can't to make balance it. it yeah i mean my, my like my like my brother you know he'll be like man everything ain't a joke bro hey man i'm making you gotta it laugh. i'm, I'm making it from crying yeah man make it happen, man people don't know say man i i man i lost my family Without a wreck, without an accident. I went three houses to none. You know what I'm saying? I walked away with nothing but my my happiness. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you know how hard that shit is? Sitting in the garage by yourself. My son was my best friend. Right. You feel me? And I, could, I ain't get to talk to my son for, for the, you know, kick, kick with my son. People in the rap game that you have help get to certain levels of support. Mm -hmm. They scared to say your goddamn name. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now I got this over there. You just look at that over there. Then you look the same as like each other about the different people that try to pull you down in the past or what you do or your, or your recreation shit. When they doing the same shit, it's just they ain't getting caught. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.